So how do you get clean, smooth lines that are well inked in Photoshop or any other digital drawing program? A lot of people would just say, practice more, but that is just such a hand-waving answer. And that can be really frustrating as a beginner artist because practice more is something that they've been telling you your whole life and it doesn't really mean anything. So today, we're gonna teach you how to practice more so that you can get those real slick lines. If you like BAM animation and enjoy all the cool, fun art learning that we do here, consider supporting us on Patreon. The link will be in the description below. So, uh, welcome to BAM. It's the show where you guys send in the art. And we redraw the art. Yeah, as if it was like a real animated show. That's right. Drawing on a tablet or a Cintiq is inherently much different than drawing on paper. The surfaces of both are really slippery, and digital drawing programs like Photoshop are really sensitive to even the slightest hand wobble. And if you are using a tablet, you of course have to be looking directly at your screen while your hand moves on its own down here, which can make it quite hard for beginner artists to get the lines that they were looking for. And that tends to accumulate into a volley of comments like, what type of brush did you had to use for the line art? How do you draw smooth lines in Photoshop? What type of brush did you, do you use guys for the line art in Photoshop? Are you Photoshop? I create information about the way you can draw smooth lines in Photoshop. To overcome these issues and achieve line art perfection, you must first develop precise hand skills. And that takes dedicated practice. Let's develop those tactical hand skills with a few line training drills. This will be like boot camp for your hand. You are building line confidence and confident lines are good. Here we go. First, make a new Photoshop document 11 by 17 at 300 DPI. Then set your brush to be hot, round, and 15 pixels wide. Check on pressure sensitivity. Hand draw a line straight down the page and vary the pressure of your stroke so that it goes thick to thin. Then draw a line right next to it and invert the weight. Keep your lines straight and close together. Fill up the entire page. You can do a variation of this called an S-curve. This helps you practice making smooth turns. To help you with precision, practice quick circles that are about the size of a quarter and attempt to make the beginnings and end hookup so that the circle looks seamless. Now try circles that are weighted on one side. Make a dot and draw quick petal shapes around it, intersecting all the looping strokes to that dot. Starting with a heavy stroke, flick your hand down and lift off to create a tapering effect. Ideally, you should complete two to three pages of these, and making sure that you fill up the entire page. You are building muscle memory, line confidence, and precision. Try to draw quickly, and don't go back over your lines in an attempt to fix anything. Filling up pages like these a few times a week for a couple weeks is gonna make a drastic improvement to your inking ability. Well, excellent work, maggots. Are you ready for some tips? You can't start by making just a clean drawing. Clean drawings are the result of many layers of sketching. Most professional illustrators do several rough passes of any one drawing, tightening it down each time until their sketch is refined and clean enough. Inking a clean sketch is a lot easier than inking a loose, messy one, so take time to fully explore your sketch and rough out your drawing thoroughly, instead of trying to make a drawing out of clean lines right away. Unless you're going for a rough edge, a smooth, confident line is made with a single swoop. Many new artists go over their completed lines multiple times because it makes them feel good or something. This is called petting the line, and it's gonna be really obvious that you've done this because your lines are gonna have all these rough hairs and scratches all over them. Now, of course, that's fine for sketching, but this makes your inked line look timid and amateur. You can practice by doing contour studies, a technique that works better on paper, but this will help you correct old habits and build line confidence either way. Fix your eyes on the outline of a model or object, then track the edge of the model with your eyes while simultaneously drawing the contour very, very slowly in a steady, continuous line without lifting the pencil. This is an exercise that you would actually do in art school. Brent, this is great, but let's use some of these techniques now to redraw some of the art that the fans sent us. All these people sent their art to bam.redrawmyart at gmail.com, so you guys go ahead and, and do that too. So John sent this to us, and I'm gonna try and make it into like a Gravity Falls character. To clean up and ink something like this, you'll want to have smooth, bold outlines for your large shapes and quick, thin ones for your interior. And these are good rules to follow for most inking styles. These rules tend to work because in the real world, there's really no such thing as lines. Lines are a graphical representation of value, 
So in cartoons, we use weighted lines to express value and form. Once you have foundational inking skills, it will be easy for you to transition between inking styles. It's important to practice proper Photoshop technique and posture. Sitting at the desk, facing forward, place one hand on your tablet and then place the other hand above the buttons Control, Alt, and Z. Because the most important part of digital drawing is to smash these hotkeys constantly. That is the nature of digital drawing. It takes most artists a few tries to get the line they were looking for. Do not, do not feel ashamed of how many times that you're going to redo a line. Every professional artist in the industry is mashing those buttons eight hours a day. You can't be very precise if you're trying to ink a drawing that's like two inches across. Zoom in and use your entire arm to get smooth strokes. A fast line is a confident line. Look at the difference that the speed makes. You don't need to worry about ending your lines where they intersect. Trying to do this will make the ends of your lines look a little bit wobbly. So feel free to go ahead and overshoot and erase the tail end. If you do a precise job of erasing, no one's gonna know. Mason sent this one to us and I wanted to turn it into a character from like a modern TV show like Adventure Time. For most television animation styles, the cleanup style has pretty much little to no tapering, and that's because varied line weights are hard to reproduce consistently. There are 24 different drawings in one second of animation and plenty of opportunities for mistakes. So it's much easier to just have a single consistent untapered line throughout the entire production. In Photoshop, if you want to turn tapering off completely, just uncheck this box right here. So a lot of artists think that their drawing tablet is the thing that's holding them back from making great art, but it's not true. With practice, you can overcome this hand-eye disconnect. A skilled artist can make any type of art on any type of reasonably sized tablet. It just takes longer on a tablet to get the line you were looking for, but the end result is still the same. For very difficult long lines that are hard to draw in a single pass, you can use the Photoshop pen tool. Click the pen and set it to a path, Click once to begin the path, then click and drag your first major curve. This will create a bezier handle on your path that defines the curve. Keep clicking and dragging until you have mostly defined your line. Then you can switch to the white arrow tool to adjust the handle points until you like your path. Then switch to the brush tool B and press enter. It'll stroke the path with your current brush. And of course you can use texture brushes on this too. Hit delete and it will delete the path leaving only the raster line. Now, this method has limitations in that it strokes your path um, uniformly, but that doesn't mean you can't go back and erase the ends and make your line taper. Photoshop CC 2018 now has brush smoothing. If you adjust the settings up here, you can create a drawing mode that drags your brush on a string. This is sort of like drawing with a pinstripe brush. It will help you smooth out any tiny imperfections that your lines have. And if you're not on 2018, you can of course use Lazy Nizumi Pro, which costs $15, does the same thing, and has a variety of other cool features as well. Ellipses, radial lines, rulers, and honestly all kinds of good stuff that has helped me personally. And it works with a ton of programs. But if you want to use the most recent form of Photoshop, you can subscribe to the Creative Cloud plan, which is like 10 bucks a month. So thanks to Josh, we got this awesome drawing. I want to make it into sort of a stylized comic book look. Now for this one, your inking work can be a little rough, but the same line weight principles still apply. It's just that you can be much more varied and expressive with the line and weight of your strokes. You can even go back and erase over your lines just to give them just a bit of texture. No custom brushes were used to make this. Guys, if you are actually serious about getting better at inking and cleaning up your lines, go ahead and scroll down just a little bit because we included a link to download all the sketches from this episode. It's like a little inking starter pack with instructions. If you're serious about upping your line game, then you can practice on that. So go ahead and try your hand literally at that and uh, send in uh, what you make. And BAM is always looking for new submissions. So if you want your art featured in an episode, send it to bam.redrawmyart at gmail.com. Well, we did it, Max. We did it. Yeah, we did it, too. I didn't think this channel was going to get here a yeah. year ago or whatever. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Um, so I would like to 
celebrate our 100,000 subs by shouting out smaller YouTubers. Yeah, there's a lot of good artist channels out there that don't have 100,000 that we want to call attention to. Yeah, and we love our fans and we think that you guys would actually benefit from seeing some of these awesome people. I highly recommend Andrea Gerstman. She has a lot of really informative videos about the breakdown of animation and how to hand draw it and how to do it all in Flash and animate. And it's super charming just to watch. There's so many art channels on YouTube that are like really boring to watch, you know, and yeah, it's just a guy talking. I don't like screen footage videos. Yeah, and with BAM, we really tried to go above and beyond, and we want to shout out other people who are trying just as hard, who don't have the same recognition that we might have. Yeah, so definitely check out our friends, guys, and just thank you again for smashing that subscribe button, and please continue to do so. And just one more thing, we don't post that often, we're sorry, but go ahead and smash that bell icon, because when we post, you're gonna wanna know. Yeah, thank you.